welcome to my Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna use Infinite Ocean, made by C4Depot.com. And I'm gonna start by looking for a free model I can use with Cinema 4D. I will look for a tower, a medieval tower. Uh, see this one. It looks fine. And download. Fast forward. Save <clears throat> and unzip it and open it with the uh, Cinema 4D. And I'll make a quick render. And you can see this is the water that is uh, with the tower. I'm gonna delete that. And then I'm gonna insert the end of oh, my infinite uh, water ocean. Infinite ocean. And you can see when I move my infinite ocean, I also move my camera that is attached to infinite ocean. And it's only the infinite ocean camera that can see the infinite ocean. So I prefer to move it up and then you can then you can move the ocean without moving the camera. And I prefer it like that. Now I'm gonna move the water down. And now let's uh, try and find um, a good starting position for our infinite uh, ocean camera. Let's uh, down down at with the road here, and then render just to make a preview. I can see the render is going quite fast, and uh, the ocean is much. Uh, more beautiful than than before. It's very good. But there's a black area over here, and uh, let's see if we can uh, remove that. Let's we go into the broken tower, and then we'll find the sky dome, and move it down. It's easier when we, when we switch to um, to the editing camera. And now move it. This this angle would be easier to to see what we're doing. Just move it down like that, and uh, then let's move uh, the sky dome down. The lookout sky dome. Move it down like that, and now let's try and activate the ocean camera and make a quick preview again. You can see it's much better. I'm gonna move the camera a bit uh, backwards and uh, just a little bit better starting position for, for the ocean camera. And now I'll set the coordinates and animate keyframes, all of them, and then uh, add some more frames for the animation, a thousand frames, and move to frame 30. And now place where I want the camera at frame 30. But if you go back and uh, and uh, change the camera settings, if you not if you want um, another starting position for the camera. Say, let's say like this, then notice you ne need to add the keyframes again, otherwise it will uh, reset for the position you had to the camera before. And uh, now go to, um, to frame, let's say 40, and just um, place the camera where I want to, where I want it to be at frame 40. Something like that looks fine. So add keyframes, and now uh, choose your uh, frame, frame 80, and uh, move your camera where I want it to be at frame 80. Um, the camera can be a, a little bit tricky sometimes, but um, 
with a little patience you will uh, get your camera at the position you want it. I want my camera to a point at the, the step, the two statues. And let's see if I can, can have it. I'm close. Like this. And add keyframes. Add keyframes. Now let's let's try and move the camera without moving the timeline timeline and choose a frame. You see when I cho chose the frame the camera resets for the position I had before. So now I'm choose the timeline and then I choose the keyframe. And um, just just to be sure. So now I move um, the camera to the position I wanted to. And then afterwards I'm going to add the keyframes. Otherwise it's just going to reset again. So I would like that, get keyframe and add keyframe. Now I choose a frame in the timeline, let's say 160, and I place your camera where I want it at frame 160. Let's go inside. This is a fine place, add keyframe and add keyframe. Now uh, let's go back to frame 1 and let's have a look at how the camera moves. Nice view over the water. And let's go up the stairs and look at the water again. And go inside. Very fine. Go back to frame 1 and turn off the ocean camera. And now I'll make a good view of the ocean and the road and select infinite ocean. Make sure you're at frame one, uh, frame zero. Uh, mark some of the features of infinite ocean um, and uh, add keyframes for them. Let's see, like this, add keyframes. Now go a bit forward, frame 40. Make sure the water is uh, still the same. So I'm just add, adding the keyframes again. And now I'll move the water even more forward. Let's see. Frame 120. And let's uh, move the water upwards. So frame one, frame frame zero, and uh, add keyframes for the coordinates, and also at frame forty, and then move forward to frame one hundred and twenty, and move the water up at up, and uh, add keyframes again. And now you can see the water is moving upwards. Okay. Infinite ocean, mark them, and um, let's uh, adjust these features, uh, make them bigger, and add keyframes. And you can uh, play with the white caps uh, and uh, add some more of these upwards, just big waves, and uh, then add keyframes. And now let's have a look at how the animation run. You see the still water still, and then when we look at the water again, it has become big waves. I'll just uh, make a quick render, so mm, then we have a better idea how the the waves look like. And it looks very very good. Let's uh, try and uh, I'll go a bit forward in frames. Let's try and add, uh, adjust some of these features. You can uh, play with them as you like. Adjust them uh, so the uh, they are just the way you like it. Let's try this uh, foam coverage and 
see how, how it uh, looks. Uh, let's uh, add some more and try again. I prefer that. And then uh, remember to um, rem remember to add the keyframes to everything you you adjusted. Then uh, close the ocean camera and edit lights and move the light otherwise it's all dark like that and then ch choose a color for it so yeah, let's like that now let's have a look at the the light yeah it's okay let's try a different that and uh, add some keyframes for the intensity at frame 0, 40, and 120. And at 120, you turn it down, and now it's all it's very dark at, at frame 120. Now add another light and move it into the castle. in there and a bit down like that yeah and uh, choose a color for it and uh, make sure it makes uh, shadows when you have turned on the shadow feature on a light then it does not uh, shine or light through solid objects and uh, that's important. It seems like it worked. So go back to um, to frame one and select infinite ocean and transparency and absorption distance and increase it. I like six meters. It makes the water looks better because you can watch through it. And then just save save your project and then you are ready to render the, the animation. So. Um, I could recommend you to make the animation with more frames because it's a very fast animation as you saw in my intro so and you can see here uh, how the um, transparency uh, was was working well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial have a nice day